Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today is another LEGO Top 10 Mocks of the Week episode where I show you guys the coolest custom creations I happen to see people building in LEGO bricks from this last week. Like always, the links to these designers are in the description below if you want to see more of their work. And before we jump in, first I'd like to say that the custom building instructions that have popped up in the web store this week come from the designer Classic Bricks, and this is the Minifig Scale Wookie Catamaran. It's got some excellent details. It comes with a display stand quite strong. And if you wanted to get the instructions, it's all linked in the description below, www.brickvault.toys. All right, let's check out some honorable mentions of the week. Here's a great series of digital builds called Rainbow Queen from Rokan Chung. Tim Goddard built a spaceship titled Dragon's Progress. And we have some excellent greebling and interesting structural details for this little spacecraft. Here's a very thin and clean looking spaceship from Michael Thomas. This is the Corvette 2, and I love the cylindrical shaping of this tower for this uh, abandoned village on Zepho. That is the title of this model, and the designer is Cube Brick. Those little slope paces have a wonderful way of kind of bubbling out some of the exterior for that tower design. And Marcino Treba is once again playing around with his kinetic dragon, or now it's a sea serpent. It's a wonderful mechanical function that's been dressed up a few times, and this is the latest iteration, which is pretty fun. Julius Von Brunk has the Nintendo 64 25th anniversary. I like that GoldenEye is a little bit out of focus there. I wonder if he's going to put in Conker's Bad Fur Day. I don't know if all these connections work because this is just a digital build, but it's undeniably an excellent looking creation from Regen. This is titled Bloom of Crimson Glory. And lastly, we're looking at a piece inspired by Van Gogh's Starry Night from the Builder Obsessionist. This is titled Stars and and sun. All right, let's jump now into the models for top 10 from Ari Lego. First one up here is called Nolamar Priori, and it looks to be a small monastery where monks are studying. My favorite bit of detailing is for the banisters. You can see the Harry Potter wands that haven't even been taken out of their little connective plastic yet. There's some wonderful archway detailing. I like the inlaid lions that are subtly hidden into some of the building here, and it's just another wonderful bit of period piece architectural design from this builder. Number nine moving down is from Tino Potienen. This is titled Courier and we have a wonderfully cartoony, excellently detailed out small tank, I'm assuming. The round ratcheted joint piece that I believe initially came from the Overwatch sets is probably the seed piece that makes up the turret for the tank. And then the treads almost too perfectly create a wonderful oval shape combined with the fact that we just have a head popping out from the top of the tank cover really lends credence to the idea that we're playing around in a very cartoony world because of course the head couldn't actually fit out of a hole that small and it's just an extremely well-built and well-contained goofy little tank world that we're living in here and now we're looking at a model from Bill's Bricks and it's Jabba's Throne Room. I believe this is an all digital design though the techniques do look like they can be replicated in real bricks. The lighting is excellent and the staging for all of these characters and the dimensions for the archway just really come to life very very well here. I'm wondering if he's going to redo this scene for the more modernized version of the Boba Fett series but who knows. And then number seven is a wonderful mechanized creature from the builder Mitsuru Nikaido. This time around it is the Mecha Water Bear. I instantly recognized this creature and it's probably one of the only if not uh, the only microscopic animal that folks tend to know about. It's famous for being able to survive in all types of extreme environments, uh, including, I believe, being able to live in the vacuum of space, or at least not die there. And when you look at it up close, it does kind of have a very animalistic look and feel to it. It's got some wonderful details and interesting shapes being used to create the body. Number six is from Shannon Sproul, and this is the bust of a cassowary. This is an extreme extremely unique bird with that very strange shape on the top of its head. I don't know exactly what it's called or what its purpose is. Personally, my favorite bit of detailing for this model is the eye where you have 
an inverted dish, or perhaps that's a barrel piece, and then the smaller black dish on the interior really makes the eye itself pop quite well. There's some subtle feather details, nice colors being used, an excellent shape for the beak, and all in all, just an incredibly lifelike head for this bird. Now we've jumped on down to what I believe is just a creative liberty, perhaps, on the Star Wars universe from Librarian Bot. This is titled The Red Devil. He says it's a modified TIE fighter used by pirates, and it's not the first time he's played around with this aspect of the Star Wars universe, but this is my personal favorite bit of modified Star Wars detailing. You have that sort of classic TIE outlook at the very front with the cockpit windscreen, some indications of angled solar collectors on the outside, and then really uh, a pretty strange and different looking creation for the actual body of the ship. The color highlights are awesome. I love that the back actually opens up and there's space for figs. And in general, it's just fun to see alts and fun custom creations coming from the Star Wars universe in general. So this ship is called the Red Devil. The next model in the lineup is the Devil Went Down to Georgia and the builder is Velasa Jactor, which is an awesome name for a creator. Okay, when I first saw the picture of this, of these two characters staring each other down, I thought it was going to be called Tribute to the Greatest Song in the World, but I was wrong. This is built for round one of the 2021 Bio Cup. The theme is media and entertainment, sub-theme music, and for me, what really sells it is the eyes of the devil himself. Those bar studs have those small holes at the ends of them, which work perfectly for pupils, and I love that his evil animate face is contrasted with a very sort of muted and somewhat innocent tone that we have from, uh, well, whoever's trying to face off against him. He looks a little bit worried, but mostly just uh, out of his element, I would say. Now, number four is a somewhat unique nature style build. It is just simply titled The River. The builder is Nick Sweetman, and it's just nice to see that in this particular nature themed piece, uh, the river is front and center. It almost blends into the rest of the environment around here, which is kind of fun. It's probably one of the most lush and green colorful uh, nature scenes that I've seen in quite a long time. It's completely full of different flowers. If I was put into this scenario right now, I would probably choose to be one of the kayakers, but those hot dogs look pretty good as well. Now let's move on to a wonderful design. Each time this creator puts something together, they're both impressive in their stylistic build choices as well as the sheer size and scale of the creation. This is from Ikoni Mako, and the title is Anansi. I hope I'm saying that right, but essentially what we're looking at here is the spider god. It says long live the spider god in the description, and so what we have is this humanoid god creature with extra sets of arms on the outside to eventually create four, or sorry, eight limbs once you count the legs at the bottom. This builder always creates or usually always creates in just black so it's a completely monochrome uh, build style which forces you to look at many of the shapes a bit more I would say when actually staring at any of these different designs. I personally love the way the face was knocked out. I like the shape of the lips and the roundness of the face. The build style for the hair is extremely creative and the shaping for the body is just excellent, excellent in every way. And now we're finishing off with the last model of the week. This was in fact teased the week before as a work in progress pick from the builder Nick Trotta. This is Tachyomatic Combine. The number of excellent building techniques thrown into here is, I mean, I couldn't talk about all of them even if the entire video was just dedicated to talking about this one model. But just to point out a handful of some of my favorite techniques here, I love the building choice to add the white outline, the brick built white outline for all of the trans blue windscreen pieces. The open cavity on the side of this combine has some excellent strange subtle angles. I really don't know how he manages to create some of this stuff. The white line detailing integrated into the very top of the combine has some excellent shapes and it seems so simple now that I'm looking at it but those slope pieces with the little edge cut off either side when integrated next to each other with a little bit of spacing you have a great bit of detailing for the cylindrical thrusters in the back. That is by far my favorite bit 
of building. And it just seems so simple now that I've seen it, I'm surprised that nobody else tried this out quite the same way before. If you did want to figure out how he put it together, he did include some work in progress pics so you can see what the internals look like. But frankly, I mean, even for me, just staring at this, I don't even know how much it really helps. But at the end of the day, it all just sort of blends together into this absolute incredibly complex bit of machinery and engineering. And I'm just glad that there are people out there talented enough and crazy enough to pull weird things off like this so we can show them to you online. All right, that is it for my personal top 10 of the week. Remember, links to everything in the description below. Let me know which model was your favorite. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.